Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again here and I have a monitor today that I wanna show you because I think it's the only monitor you're going to need. It's a super wide display. It actually has a 32 to nine aspect ratio and it's basically having virtually two QHD displays together. So you don't have to buy two separate displays. You have one display that serves that purpose and we'll talk about that in this video. Yes, I'm talking about the HP E45C curved monitor has a DQHD resolution, a high pixel count. It's gonna be great for the one who needs to multitask with multiple monitors. It's gonna be great for the content creator because it is a really nice color accurate display with great coverage of the color gamut. We're gonna get into it today. And it also has something that's pretty special using the HP Device Bridge 2.0, allowing you to connect two PCs or a PC and a Mac together, sharing the same keyboard and mouse on that display. Pretty interesting, good stuff here, folks. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP E45 CG5 DQHD curved monitor here for 2023. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unit itself, I just wanna let everyone know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP, I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means you're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit is on loan from HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing comes in at $1,099, and considering you're really getting multiple displays in one, and we'll talk about that in a moment, this is not a bad deal. In fact, it's a really good price-to-value ratio here, a lot of bang for the buck. So for those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information, and we can buy one. Now the setup process was super easy, very simple. In a few minutes, you're up and running. Once everything's put together, as far as the stand onto the monitor, as you can see, it's a pretty super wide display. It's pretty massive when you look at it, but considering you're getting two QHD displays in one, it's a really nice, clean look, very aesthetic, and I really do like it. And you don't have to worry about having two separate monitors with a big line in the middle dividing the two. So it's a better look in my opinion. Now on the back is where you find all your connections, good port selection here, HDMI display port, two USB type C ports, gigabit ethernet, two USB type A ports. And of course that's where your power port is. And on the back is also the jog dial for the on-screen control. So you can actually change the different brightness, contrast, et cetera, all the different modes of the monitor actually can be controlled within that unit. So pretty good. And it's nice that they include these cables in the box so you don't have to worry about buying them. It's all inclusive here. Pretty good in terms of what they give you. Now, this is a great display, especially if you like to multitask, have multiple monitors, and you don't want that clutter. This is going to do the job. Now, it has a 32 to 9 aspect ratio. That's a super wide aspect ratio with a resolution of 5120 by 1440. That's a DQHD resolution. Now, as far as the display itself is concerned, you're looking at really deep blacks, really vibrant colors, very color accurate, and it also has very good coverage of the color gamut, 100% sRGB, 83% Adobe RGB, 89% of the DCI-P3 wide color gamut, that's really good, and 79% NTSC, making this a good choice if you are a content creator to do Lightroom, Photoshop, video editing, color grading, and things of that sort. And it also has 165 hertz refresh rate. That's a high refresh rate that gives you that really smooth, very fluid experience, especially when it comes to gaming. This will not disappoint. So it's a very multifaceted display in that regard. Now, consuming media, of course, will be a little bit different on such a super wide display with that 32 to 9 aspect ratio. So if you have something that has been optimized for a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, you have big black bars on the sides of the picture. And of course, that could be a little bit annoying. But of course, if you're using multiple display mode here, virtual display mode, which we'll show you in a moment, that will really not be an issue. And again, gives you the chance to multitask here, really good in terms of productivity, in addition to be able to consume media on multiple displays. So that's been pretty good. And when you're talking about this virtual dual display mode, it's the world's first 45 inch super ultra wide dual QHD monitor that creates dual displays with a single cable. And it gets even better with the HP Device Bridge 2.0. It allows you to connect to PCs, multiple PCs in fact, and allows you to share the keyboard and mouse 
between the two of them. So you need one mouse, one keyboard to control two PCs or one PC and a Mac, and it really works well. Now you have to install some software on each device, but that is very simple. Once that's up and running, it's pretty virtual and seamless. And you can actually go between the two monitors very easily, just get close to the border and it switches over to the other PC or Mac in this case. So it works out really well. Now it has actually pretty good speakers. We're looking at two three watt speakers here, dual three watt speakers, I should say, and they work out really well in terms of the volume, the mids, the bass. For a monitor, it's actually pretty good for watching movies or just doing everyday tasks on it. it the sound was actually pretty good. So very impressive in that regard. Okay, there's a lot to like here, folks. The 1500R Curve is excellent. The 5120 by 1440 DQHD resolution. It's a high pixel density that a lot of people want. Screen splitting with the virtual dual displays worked really well. I love that. Device Bridge 2.0 allows you to connect multiple PCs, a PC and a Mac, although it doesn't work with Linux. It did work well with the PCs that I have, and I was able to connect a Mac and a PC together, sharing the mouse and keyboard. Love that. Good array of ports, dual PC hookup, up. Of course, as I mentioned, Mac included and the integrated dual three watt speakers sounded really good. Negatives here, it can get a bit expensive in terms of when you're looking at two typical QHD monitors versus this one. Although I think for $1,099, I think it really comes in at a sweet price point. No HDR support. That would have been nice, especially on a high res display as this. You don't get it. But overall, there's a lot to like here, ladies and gentlemen. The HP E45C G5 curved monitor brings a lot to the table. One of the best monitors you're going to get and especially if you want that super wide display using that virtual display mode it's excellent so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen don't forget to check me out on facebook twitter instagram and of course my website amdtechreviews.com so until next time this is andrew and i'll see you in the next video